everybody, Andrew here. Uh, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to initialize the Runtime Transform Gizmos plugin. Um, I'm going to assume you have imported the Runtime Transform Gizmos package inside your project. Uh, the, next, the, the next thing you need to do is go to Tools, Runtime Transform Gizmos and then click on Initialize. Yeah. And uh, when you do that, you get a hierarchy here in the hierarchy view. Uh, this is a hierarchy of objects, yeah, basically different modules that are needed by the, by the plugin to work as expected. And um, if I if I run if I run the app now, uh, nothing happens. Yeah, uh, we don't really see any transform gizmos uh, lying around. Uh, but you can actually you get access to a navigation camera that you can move around in the scene. Uh, you get this scene grid, and you also get access to this um, uh, scene gizmo, right? Now, uh, let me just quickly uh, sh uh, just uh, talk about each and uh, about each one of these um, modules. I have the RT Gizmos engine, which is basically uh, the you know the, like the module that c takes care of the gizmo logic. Um, and here you can actually modify the settings for all the gizmos that are available. Um, you have the RTC module, which um, basically takes care of. Uh, you know, it, it's like a scene manager, you have the scene grid, and then you have the RT focus camera. This is the navigation camera that you can uh, just move around in the scene. And as you can see here, you have a whole bunch of settings that have to do with, you know, controlling different aspects of how the camera can be controlled, such as move, pan, look around, orbit, zoom settings, um, and uh, different, different other uh, things that you can do. And also uh, here you can change the hotkeys uh, that can be used to control the camera. Uh, you have a camera background which can be used to like render like a gradient um, background, yeah, right here. Uh, and here you can change the first color and the second color and also the gradient offset. Uh, and then you have the input device which basically um, is, you know, it, it can either, it, it's either a mouse or a touch device. Um, you don't need to actually know how this works. This is just there and the plugin just knows how to use it uh, when needed. And then you have the uh, undo redo module, which allows you to perform undo redo operations. All right, yeah, so yeah, this is it. This is how you initialize the plugin. Uh, one more thing which uh, is really important when you're working with the plugin, um, you have to make sure that the objects in the scene are, uh, are dynamic, yeah, so make sure that the static, the static toggle here is unchecked, yeah, uh, because the objects are going to be moved around with the gizmos. So you actually need uh, you need those objects to be dynamic. Also, um, in order to to be able to use uh, vertex snapping, uh, you need to make sure that the meshes that you're working with, yeah, the models that you've imported in your project have the read write enabled flag set yeah so if you're working with meshes that have this unchecked then you need to check this flag yeah apply yeah so uh, you need to you need to check this flag in order to be able to use vertex snapping this is because the plugin needs to read the vertex data at the runtime and if this is not checked then there's no way for it to do that so it's uh, yeah you, you won't be able to use vertex snapping if you if you if you don't do this uh, all right, yeah. So this is uh, basically uh, plug initialization. Basically, is just just you know just one click here, uh, two clicks actually. Um, now in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to actually start creating gizmos in the scene and assigning them to objects. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.